So you're a home buyer looking in the Chicago suburbs for a home that will appreciate in value over the life of ownership. Then you need to avoid these five worst places to buy in the Chicago suburbs. But number five might surprise you because it might also be the best place to buy. Let's get right into it. Number one is buying in a poor school district. And let me give you the caveat that I am not an expert in education. It's really up to the buyer to determine what they think is a good school district or not for their family or their situation. And even if you don't have kids or plan on having them, you need to know what the school district is doing is because it is the biggest driver of value in the area of the Chicago suburbs. So make sure that you're looking at the ratings, talking to people, getting a good understanding of what that school district is like so you know whether your investment is safe there. Okay, number two is buying in a deteriorating neighborhood. If you are in a neighborhood where the value has gone down or has not risen as much as some other areas, or you can just see with your eyes that the homes are wasting away, the properties aren't being taken care of, that is an area that you probably want to avoid. All right, number three, and that is you want to avoid being the most expensive home in a neighborhood. If you're in a neighborhood full of homes that are priced right around $300,000 and the house that you're buying is five or $600,000, that is a big mistake. Avoid buying this house because it will not only be harder to sell in the future, but it will appreciate slower than the rest of the neighborhood. Okay, number four, and that is on a busy road. Again, this leads to all kinds of problems when it comes to appreciation because the average buyer doesn't want to be on a busy road. It's noisy, it could be dangerous, it makes life difficult when you're pulling in and out of your driveway. So I would avoid being on a busy road as much as possible. Okay, number five, and this is the one that might also be the best place to buy a house, and that is close to train tracks. The average buyer in the Chicago suburbs doesn't want to have their house right next to the train tracks. Again, we're talking about noise, potential danger, potential site issue where you're just looking at you know, train tracks or, or rubble around the train tracks and things like that. However, living close to a train line can be a huge benefit for some folks in the Chicago suburbs. And often we see that the downtown areas in the Chicago suburbs that are close to train lines are where we have the most expensive homes. And this is simply because we still have a lot of folks who live in the Chicago suburbs and commute to the city of Chicago. So for them, living in an area that's within walking distance, biking distance, or a short drive to the train can be very ideal. So make sure you follow these five guidelines about the worst places to buy in the Chicago suburbs. And if you have any questions, especially about whether a train will hurt you or harm you, just reach out. I'll be happy to help.